Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Friday, which means we're gonna be doing a Fabric Friday. Oh, this is the best part of my week, I swear. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about this fantabulous fabric. Yeah, it's pretty loud, but that's how I like my fabrics. This is a brushed cotton. So brushed cotton, what is it? Well, it's cotton that has been brushed. It really is that simple. Now, you might not have heard the term brushed cotton, but you've probably felt it. Now, if you're like me, when you get into a fabric store, you get your hands everywhere, and you're feeling fabrics, you get to the cotton section and you've got like that normal crisp shirting, you've got like the normal quilting cotton, and then there might be a cotton that feels a little bit fluffy on one side or both sides that's a brushed cotton. The, the way it gets brushed is through the manufacturing process. So basically what happens is the cotton is made as it's normally made, which I'm not 100% sure how that is. But once that part is done, it then goes through another machine, which basically brushes it with like a really fine, like comb brush thing. And it does it in like these deep, deep swaths and it keeps going until the fabric, which was once completely flat, now has like a bit of a fluffy, texture. So that fluffy texture traps air and then allows it to be heated. So if you had that fluffy fabric against your skin, any air that's like caught in that will just keep you nice and nice and warm. So brushed cottons are very, very good for winter. As a matter of fact, you've probably come across a brushed cotton before, which is brushed on both sides, and that is called flannel. Yes, flannel. Those flannel shirts that you see lumberjacks wearing, those like flannel pajamas that you wear in the winter, that is a brushed cotton. So you could get brushed cotton that is just on one side, which is what this one is, or you can get it that's on both sides, which is basically what a flannel is. It's been brushed on both sides. So you've got that kind of fluffy texture, but it is still very much cotton and acts exactly like a cotton does. So yeah, that's like a really short little bio on what brushed cotton is. So if you're looking for something to make for those cold months, you wanna make a shirt, but you want it to be a little bit warmer, you can look at flannels or you can just search for brushed cottons and that is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get something that looks like a cotton, that feels like a cotton. It may be smooth on one side, but on the other side, it will be a little bit fluffy in texture and that is gonna keep all of that air inside and keeping you nice and warm. So brushed cottons for winter and uh, yeah, a little bit more info for you guys. So now let's talk about this fabric in particular. As you can see, still got this on the roll. I picked up this fabric from Abacans. Now, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you'll know that I think it was like November time. We took a little trip up to Chester, which is like Northwest England, um, where we're going to be moving to. We're gonna be moving up to Cheshire in a couple of weeks. Hey, hey, you ready for the room tour? I am, I am so ready. But um, yes, while I was up there, I found that they have an Abacans. Now, Abacans is a uh, chain of stores that you will find up in the Northeast, Northwest of England. Um, and they have loads and loads of fabric and they have fabric by the weight, lies in fabric by the kilogram, which I absolutely love because some fabrics are very, very light, which means that a kilogram of chiffon gets you a lot of chiffon and maybe a kilogram of denim might not get you a lot of denim, but like they're priced really really well and every time I go to one of the Abacans I usually go to the one in Liverpool and um, whenever I go I always come out with bags and bags of fabric so this this branch was no exception when I got there very very happy with what I saw and I walked over to the bin that said uh, brushed cotton checks and then you had your standard checks your blue and whites your black and whites your tartans and then poking out of the corner was this loud little baby and I was just like wow wow to those colors love a good mustard color and green is my favorite color so to see them together was I'm gonna say like a match made in heaven, but like I still look at it now and I'm just like, oh, I don't know. But like, I'm very, very drawn to it. So I picked it up, put it down, picked it up, put it down, walked away, walked back maybe about five times. And I thought, I'm just gonna take it with me. Otherwise I'll really regret it when I walk out the store. So I had it for a couple months now and I keep looking at it thinking I'm gonna make something. And I've decided that this month in January, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. So that's why it's gonna be a Fabric Friday because I actually plan on making something pretty soon, probably right after this video. The question is, what to make though. So I see this and I think multiple things. I think shirt, 
I think shirt dress, I think pajamas, and I think the most amazing bombastic pants you'd ever seen in your life. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I think I'm more likely to make a shirt because I'm probably more likely to wear it. Although the need to turn these into like flared, like flared pants is quite, urgent it feels urgent but i don't know how much i would wear it and i would hate to make something and not get a lot of wear out of it so we think it's going to be a shirt but we are going to explore all those options and i know you guys are always looking for inspiration so if you get yourself a checked brush cotton these are the things that you could probably make with it first up the shirt now it depends on what kind of shirt you want a checked shirt is pretty much a classic bust them out as soon as the weather gets cold or as soon as you're feeling a bit fancy this would make an amazing check shirt but for me my shirts i like my shirts oversized a little bit big something that i can tie up i can either wear it tucked into something or just over the top like an over shirt so if this is going to be a shirt for me this is going to be an oversized shirt something that i can get a lot of wear out of whether it's going to be something that maybe goes down to my knees and then it can it can also be a dress at the same time can you imagine summertime you've got a little crop top on pair of cycling shorts you put on the shirt you open it up to the waist you've got a belt in the middle button all the way down stomping boots yes please shirts work very very well the next one also works very very well and especially now when everybody's at home still uh our pajamas flannel pajamas brushed cotton the warmest pajamas you're ever going to have super super comfy and depending on the kind of check you have can be very festive i know it's like christmas is done now but you know we can we can be festive all year round it's like there's no rules against that. So for pajamas, you can go for your standard long with the pull string, with the long sleeve shirt. You can go for the short sleeve. You can go for shorts. You could make a baby doll nighty with this, or you can go for like something a little bit more modern, like a, a slouchy onesie with like an off the shoulder type thing. These will all work perfectly. Anything with buttons definitely work. This, this was made for buttons. So any kind of like shirt type thing would work perfectly. Option three, the bombastic trousers. Now, when I think of like checked pants or trousers, I think of like the red standard tartan. I think of like, you know, like punky, uh, kind of like rock and roll type things. I think quite like skinny and tight. So maybe with a bit of stretch in it. But also at the same time, I've seen quite a few like suits and stuff come up in checks and come up in like these really beautiful but busy patterns and this would look absolutely amazing like really really good i feel like for me i will have a better time dressing up my top half than i do my bottom half but for those of you who are way more adventurous than me a pair of trousers in this would look amazing something with like a little bit of a high waist a little bit of a pleat at the front maybe like a skinny cigarette pant not super super slim to the leg or a little bit loose but like nice or or hear me out the other way it's like a really like slim fit at the top but then like we're going straight into like a 70s flare at the bottom oh yeah like just like a kick flare like a really big one that would also look very very good and I will show you examples if I can find them because like what's in my head might not be what's actually out there, but like I'll try and find it for you. I think a color like this really, really deserves that kind of like madness, you know? The madness of the, <laughs> the madness of the pant. So the last thing I will probably say works really, really well with a brushed cotton is just your standard dress really if you may know last month i launched my first pattern the katarina dress um, and it is a backless dress with some big old sleeves now can you imagine that in this now i think that would be fabulous and i would absolutely make it if i didn't already have like eight versions of the same dress from all the samples that i made but you know the good thing about having a pattern is that it doesn't have to stay the pattern like it is the perfect dress to hack it would be a great top also so if i have some fabric left over i may consider making a katarina top that is backless with the big sleeves and maybe put in a tie back instead of like a zip skirt yeah i think that would look 
look quite cute in this. And the good thing is because this is a warm fabric, totally can still wear it in the winter, even though it's backless, still gonna be quite warm. So win, 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 win. But if you're not into the Katarine dress, there are plenty of other dresses that would work really, really well for a checked print, but also for brushed cotton. Any dress that calls for a woven fabric like a cotton will work for a brushed cotton. Just like consider like how you're using your linings and your interfacings, because this is quite a warm fabric, even though it is the same thickness as a normal cotton, that brushed part really does make a difference. Yeah, like make a dress. Can you imagine like a maxi type dress with like a fitted waist and like a shirt like buttoning open big swishy skirt in this oh, amazing and you can wear it in the winter with a big pair of boots underneath perfect so i gave you a bunch of ideas of all the things that you could make with a brushed cotton particularly this one in this color unfortunately it's not yours it's mine so i'm going to probably make myself a shirt like i said in the first one if you do find yourself eyeing up a brushed cotton that also happens to be a check come back to this video and just see a few ideas i don't want to make this video too long so what i'll do is in the description i will put a little list of patterns that i think will work really really well for a brushed cotton if you're looking for some extra inspiration so now that we've talked about all the things that we could make with it and i think i'm definitely going to go with the shirt so let's talk about where I got it from, how much it was, and how much I got. So, as I was saying before, this is from Abacans up in the north of England in the Chester branch. Absolutely love it there. This fabric cost a receipt, because I bought a load of other fabrics, don't remember the exact price. Okay, so according to the receipt, this brushed cotton check uh, was £16.69 per kilogram. That's the bin that I got it from. So anything that I pulled out there, one kilogram of it would have been £16.69. And this one weighed 0.72 kilograms. So it cost £12.2p and altogether. So for £12.2p, and I measured this. This is almost three meters. It is, it's like 292 or something like that. So that works out to about four pounds a meter, which is actually not that bad. For a check, that is going to keep me warm and also look absolutely fabulous. You're going to see me halfway down the street before you actually see my face. I am not mad at it at all. So if you live up in the north of England, check out your local Abacans. I believe they also deliver at the moment because of the whole pandemic situation so you might not be able to actually go there because you especially in the uk we are back on a national lockdown everybody so it's very likely if you are in the uk you won't be able to visit the store anytime soon but i do believe they are still delivering and they have a great haberdashery they do patterns so many other things in there so if you just want to have a little look around on their website I will leave it below. And then maybe, maybe you'll be able to find yourself something cute like this. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. If you guys enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, what do you think of the colors? What do you think of the colors? Uh, I would love to know if you have any brushed cotton. What do you think of the examples that I gave you? Did you know that it was literally brushed with like a comb? I did not, but I do now. And if you haven't already, then subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I post another video. And also, while you're at it, you can go check me out on Instagram. I do try to post often. I'm trying to be better this year. We're trying to be better. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you next week.